I wasn't expecting to say this, but that Del Toro can make a really good romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't get the joke. I'll explain later. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to another movie review. And today, I will be reviewing The Big Sick. Yes, this came out in 2017 and was written by uh, Kamel Nanjani and his wife, um, Emily B. Gordon. And, uh, and it was directed by Michael Showalter. And it stars Kamel Nanjani. Um, hopefully I'm saying his name right. I had to look up how to say it. Uh, Zoe Kazan, uh, Holly Hunter, Ray Romano, and Bo Burnham. Yeah, so, alright. Big Six. So, let me explain <laughs> that joke in the intro. You see, um, originally, I was going to review Pan's Labyrinth. Yes. Um, I made a poll, of course, and I put Pan's Labyrinth in there, along with this movie, The Big Six. And, um, I tried watching Pan's Labyrinth, and I'm sorry, Del Toro fans, but I couldn't finish it. It bored the shit out of me. Not gonna lie. I I only made it, like, 40 minutes in, honestly. And I just couldn't get into it. Um, and yeah, I, I do have the DVD of it, which I might hold on to it for a little bit. Uh, maybe in the next few years, I'll give it another try. But because I want it, I want to give it another try. But as of right now, I just couldn't get into it. I I couldn't. I really wanted to review this movie for you guys. Um, I really did. And you know, it won the poll. Uh, it won. It won the poll. Um, by three votes, and the big sick only got one vote. Uh, that only got one vote on my YouTube poll, and on the Instagram, it got three votes. So, you know, Pan's Labyrinth won, so I was going to review that, but I just couldn't finish it, so I apologize, but I am not going to review Pan's Labyrinth. Instead, I am going to review The Big Sick, because it got one vote, so it came in second place on the poll. Um, on the YouTube poll, but still, you know, um, it still got votes, so yeah. So anyways, yeah, I am reviewing The Big Sick. I just, I finished it last night, and, um, yeah, I have to be honest, this is a good romantic comedy. Um, I've heard really good things about this movie. I heard that this was, like, one of the best romantic comedies in recent years, and, yeah, I have to agree. Um, I do have some issues with it, but I'll talk about it, uh, later, but, it was a good movie. It really was. I I enjoyed it for the most part, and yeah, I'm. So let's talk about it, shall we? <laughs> so um, start out by describing the plot the best I can. So the movie is about Kamel Nanjani, Nanjani, however you say his name, who is a real life comedian. Uh, this is actually based on a true story of about his wife, him and his wife, like. How they met, and also this thing that actually happens, which I'll talk about. Um, and um, but it's a fictionalized story. I mean, based on true events, of course. But um, Kamel uh, plays himself, and this is the story about him meeting his wife Emily, who in this movie is played by Zoe Kazan, and um, they meet each other. You know, they fall in love. And Kamel, of course, is is from Pakistan, which in in that country, um, there's um, you know, there's um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, <sighs> arranged marriage, yeah, arranged marriages. There's arranged marriages in that country, and um, but he doesn't want he didn't want to marry someone just out of random just you know that his mom that his mom chooses he he instead he he you know meets this white girl and falls in love with her and um yeah and they have a pretty good relationship for a while and then um 
and then she um starts to get sick and she goes into a coma and while she's in this coma he starts to um bond with her parents who are played by Ray Romano and Holly Hunter um so that's i guess basically all i can say um I guess I should also mention he's also a comedian, uh, which he, of course, he is in real life and stuff. I'm honestly not too familiar with this actor, this comedian, uh, Kamel Nanjani. Um, so this is my first introduction to him. Um, but, but yeah, um, that's basically, I guess, all I can say uh, without spoiling. Um, so yeah, basic plot, kind of unique, but then again, it was based on True Revenge true events so yeah um and what's pretty cool is that his wife uh co-wrote the movie with him that's pretty cool um so i think that most of it is probably most of it probably happened but of course they they still want to fictionalize it a little bit you know and and they even wanted to make this a funny movie even though there are, of course, some serious moments. And I have to say, and that's, this is part of a positive, it works. I have to say, the comedy and drama of this film really works. And I have to say, this movie is hilarious. Like, I was laughing out loud quite a bit during this movie. This movie's really funny. Camille is hilarious in this movie. Uh, Zoe, what's her name? Zoe uh, Kazan? Zoe Kazan is very funny in the movie. Ray Romano, as always. I love Ray Romano, by the way. I'm a huge Everybody Loves Raymond fan. That's one of my favorite shows. So I knew he was going to be funny. But yeah, um, so that's a positive. I'll go ahead and jump into the positives. This movie is hilarious. Um, even Holly Hunter had some funny moments. Uh, Bo Burnham is in the movie, too. Bo Burnham is a guy who I'm starting to get into. After watching his directorial debut, Eighth Grade, which I reviewed for the channel, go check it out if you haven't already. And I also watched his um, his uh, quarantine uh, comedy special, Inside, which was pretty good. I, I actually enjoyed it. Um, so I kind of, I still, I'm still a little bit new to Bo Burnham, but you know, he's in this movie. He plays one of Camille's friends, and he is he's good. He's really funny too, and yeah. Um, so yeah, the humor's great. Everybody in this movie's funny. Uh, another thing I really like about this movie is just the performances alone are really good. Everybody's great performance-wise. Camille, um, Zoe Kazan, who I've only known, I only know her from, uh, the Coen Brothers movie, um, uh, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. She was in one of my favorite, um, uh, one of my favorite segments in that movie, which, you know, that's an anthology movie, and she was in my second favorite story, I think, in that movie, after the uh, Tom Waits story, but, um, but yeah, she, she was great in this movie, I really liked her a lot, I want to see more of her, she's really awesome, um, also, little, little known fact, she's actually, I don't think they're married, but she is, uh, dating, uh, Paul, Paul Dano, which is one of my favorite actors, and good for him because she's gorgeous. But <laughs> I mean, good for her too, of course. Paul Dano is awesome, but yeah. Um, so yeah, little known fact there. I think they've been together since like 2007, I believe, and they even have a kid together. I think so. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, but yeah, and uh, Holly Hunter, I know her um a little bit from um. Uh, well, she was she was the voice of Elastigirl in The Incredibles, and she also is in uh, two Coen Brothers movies I really like, which are uh, Raisin Arizona and Oh Brother Art Thou. So that's how I knew her um, in this movie, and uh, and of course, like I mentioned, Ray Romano. I love everybody loves Raymond. So yeah, very very familiar with Ray Romano. They're all great in this movie, um, and. Um, Camille has very good chemistry with, well, all the guys, all the actors I just mentioned. He had great chemistry with Zoe Kazan and, you know, 
Holly Hunter, Ray Romano as well. I also really liked uh, Holly Hunter, Ray Romano's, um, their, their chemistry in this movie. You know, they, they're obviously a married couple. And yeah, I, I kind of wish we got a little bit more of that with them too, but I think for what it was, because it wasn't, the movie wasn't about them. I think for what it was, we, we got, I guess, decent, decently enough. I just wish we got a little bit more with them. But I still thought they did a great job. They had great chemistry together, like I said. Um, so, yeah, great great humor, great um, performances. I would just say the story is great as well. Story is very good. Um, and cinematography isn't bad either. It looks pretty cool. There's some good shots in the movie, honestly. Uh, there's one shot with uh, Camille at the hospital whenever he's he's walking with the stuffed giraffe. Not really much of a spoiler, so that's why I said it. But um, I really liked that shot a lot in the film. Um, yeah, those are positives I have. But now let's get into the negatives. And I do have at least one negative. Um... I do not, I did not like the editing of this film, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I thought the editing was very messy. And it felt like there were some scenes in the movie I felt like just went by too quick. Maybe they were supposed to, I don't know, but I didn't like it. There were just some scenes that just went by quick. I'm like, oh, that's it? Like, I don't know, I didn't like that. Um... And it just kind of, I don't know. I There were some cuts that didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. And I, I don't know. Um, you know, as I watch movies uh, through the years, as I become a quote-unquote film buff, I notice some flaws with editing in some movies. Even good movies can still have some bad editing. And that's the, that's the thing with this movie. This is a very good movie, without a doubt. But... The editing, however, does push it back for me. It, I'm going to give it a little bit of a look. I mean, not too low of a grade, but a little bit lower than it than I probably should give it. Uh, the I said grade. I meant the rating, um, unfortunately. But I still have a little bit more to say, so not I'm not quite ready to give it the rating. But, yeah, the editing, I honestly didn't like that that much it i mean it could have been a lot worse but it was it was it wasn't it was pretty bad i have to be honest the editing was pretty bad um not terrible but yeah um so yeah there's that and also while it did have a good third act there was a little bit of moments in the third act i kind of felt like felt like it was a little bit dragging like there was just some parts of the third act i was just like okay i get it why are we seeing this like i felt like there were just some moments that were a little bit unnecessary that they they shown and stuff um but yeah um and there were some moments with uh camille's family which i didn't even mention in the movie but that's part of the plot too is with this family because of the whole arranged marriage thing you know he's scared to tell his family that he met a white girl uh that he's in love with her and um so but there was a lot of stuff in that with that aspect which i get was important to the story but i kind of felt like i don't know there was just some some stuff i just didn't really care for with that kind of stuff like that was honestly in terms of the story that was the kind of stuff I didn't really like. Uh, that was the stuff I didn't like. That I, that I liked the least. There we go. Was the stuff with his family, honestly. Like, I don't know. It was just kind of, eh. I get it. It's very important to the story, without a doubt. But, I don't know. It just didn't work for me, the stuff with his family, too much. I much preferred the stuff with, you know, um, her parents, Ray Romano and Holly Hunter. That stuff worked for me. His family, not so much. That might be a hot take. I don't know, but yeah. But anyways, but yeah, that's that's basically all. But however, the editing part is what real why I really didn't like about the movie. And so 
So for that reason, I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Give it its rating. I am gonna give the big sick because of the bad editing. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Yeah, I wish I could give it an eight out of ten or even a nine out of ten at least. But I mean, I wish I could. Uh, but that editing, I I just did not like that. It just didn't work for me. So. The Big Sick gets a 7 out of 10. So, yeah. Those of y'all who love this movie, I apologize. But, yeah, 7 out of 10. But still a great film. Don't get me wrong. 7 is still good. 7 is still great. So, yeah. All right. So, there we go. There is my review for The Big Sick. So, in the comments, tell me, um, have you seen The Big Sick? Have you not? Also, what is your favorite romantic comedy? I'll go on, yeah, just, I might have asked that before, but, yeah. Um, my favorite romantic comedy would have to go to Chase and Amy, the Kevin Smith movie. Uh, despite, yeah, that it has some flaws, too, but I still, I still really like that movie a lot. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, what's your favorite romantic comedy? Um, alright. So, okay, so, this coming Thursday will be my Pixies ranking. Uh, of their discography, I should say. The Pixies discography ranking will be up this um, this Thursday. So look out for that. As for Monday, honestly, I don't know yet. I need to come up with an idea for a top 10 list, I guess. Um, that one's a little bit harder to do whenever it comes to like list of, like movie lists. It's a little bit harder. Um, mostly... Because I'm also working on rankings, you know, director rankings, but those take a while because I, there's a bunch of movies I need to watch and some of them are hard to track down, you know. So, because I'm still, I'm still in the middle of, you know, ever since I started doing these director rankings, like, I started them, like, last year, and w some of the first ones I started, started, you know, uh, working on, where like Martin Scorsese and Tim Burton, those are still going on. There's still some movies from those directors I still haven't seen and haven't tracked down yet. So, and there's also, I'm also, there's also other directors I'm also currently trying to watch. So, I don't know when I'll do another director ranking. I really want to do some more, of course. I love making those videos. I love uh you know making the rankings themselves it's a lot of fun it's just really hard to do uh with but with like you know album rankings those are a lot easier to do because most if not all albums are free on youtube to listen to so there we go those are a lot easier to do um but director rankings are harder you know a lot harder so yeah anyways um <laughs> i know a little off topic i was just explaining just um she's not really sure what to do on monday but i'll think of something i'll come up with a top 10 list so yeah don't you worry <laughs> all right so please like subscribe comment and hit the bell and i'll see you later all right peace